boom 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 hello everybody how are you doing you okay welcome to prince mojo youtube game of thrones battle of bastards episode 9 fantastic episode i gotta love that episode same on the power as hard home it was great this is the best episode where the battle between sansa stark john snow and ramsey bolton happens but the episode starts off with the battle of marine the Battle of Marine is uh, going on. The Masters have attacked the city. Daenerys has come back. She wants to know what's happening. She asks Sir uh, Tyrion. He tells her what he done. Now she goes to make a surrender pact with them. They, she wants them to surrender. She tells them, surrender or die. They decline and say, you surrender. So she shows them. Drogon comes out. The other two dragons come out and burn two or three ships. And the soldiers are told to leave or die. The soldiers leave. Two of the masters are killed. And the Dahrathi turn up and slay the ones that are keep fighting. The harpy are killed off as well. The city is taken back. Then we see later in the show, Theon and Yara turn up to Marine with their ships and uh, start to negotiate an alliance with Daenerys Targaryen. All they want is their kingdom back. Not the whole seven kingdoms, just their kingdom. So because of this, she agrees. She says, why well, if your uncle comes, your uncle will offer me more boats. But uh, when he comes, obviously he just wants to marry her, kill her and take the seven kingdoms. Yara doesn't want that. Theon doesn't want that. There you go. So the deal is done with Yara Greyjoy. She supports uh, Daenerys Targaryen. And uh, they take the ships that they have acquired and go for Westeros. Thank you. That's that part the Nada Battle of Bastards, the main part of the show. This is the two 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 parts of it, the Marine and now the Battle of Bastards. Jon Snow is camped outside Winterfell with his armies. He has two, three thousand men. He parlays with the with Ramsay Bolton and the Karstark and the Umba. He offers the uh, Ramsay Bolton, rather than fight to the death for every soldier, we fight one-on-one. -on -one. The coward, as he is, he declines the offer. He can only fight when there's people behind him. He can't fight by himself. He says, he shows uh, Rickon's, uh, Rickon's wolf's head, brings the axe and says, this is the wolf's head I have, Rickon. If you want him alive, then give up now or don't. Sansa Stark says, he will die in the morning and drives rides off. So they go back to the tent, make a war plan. Now after everybody's gone, Sansa says to him, don't do this. Don't fight like this. Fight a different way. I know him. I know Ramsey Bolton more than you. You know about battle, but I know about Ramsey Bolton. He goes, Rickon is dead. I guarantee you, we will never see Rickon again. John asks, what shall I do? What shall I do? But he just says, do something different, but don't do this. Because Sansa knows Sansa is scared that he's gonna win. He has ideas, he has plans all the time. He's so scheming little shit, isn't he? That's what he is. But Sansa says, If you fall, John, if you fall, I'm never going back. Kill me. Kill me. But she she all this time I thought Sansa was being stupid, but she's going through fear. Fear is what's driving her. Fear is why she sent that letter. Fear is growing on her. That if he wins, he's going to take her back, rape and abuse and beat her again. She doesn't want that. She would rather die. So uh, they go off to bed, everybody. John goes to see the Red Lady. The Red Lady, he asks the Red Lady not to bring him back if he falls, if he dies. She says she can't do that. She can only follow the Lord of Light. See how that goes then. If he dies, she, won't, she will have to bring him back if she does. But he doesn't want to come back. So we shall see you that. Now the day of the battle. The day of the battle. Rickon Stark is brought forward by Ramsay Bolton. And uh, set free. So you run. If you run, get to your brother. You are free. If you can't get there, play his game again. He wants to anger Jon Snow. What he does is gets an arrow and shoots Rickon Stark in the back while he's running to Jon. Jon tries to get to him, but he can't. He's just winding up. John makes him angry, and John goes by himself to fight the Bolton armies. 
he gets there near enough and the cavalry come before the Bolton army can get to him all the soldiers start fighting then John is that wind up he just doesn't know what to do for five minutes while everybody is fighting they're fighting they're fighting they're fighting everybody is killing but uh, the Stark army is losing they are surrounded by the Bolton army and the fight is going on everybody's killing each other Thormund is there Davos joins the fight Sansa Stark is watching from the back but in the end they are trapped they can't get out there's a mountain of dead men here and there's a wall of Bolton soldiers there the car Starks are coming the Umbar are coming they all come join the fight to kill him and all is lost John is in the floor being trampled all is lost but John slowly gets out and gets it to the top and before you can see anything happening you hear a noise it's the horn the Aryan army here John Aaron's army is here the veil is here and you feel a relief in your heart when you hear that. I'm so happy when I heard that. First time ever, I'm happy to see little, little Finger turn up. It was fantastic. Sansa and Little Finger watching and smiling while the Aryan army take down the Bolton army, kill every one of them. And John chases, chases the Boltons, chases uh, Ramsay to Winterfell. Knocks down the one, one knocks down the door. But by doing so, poof. She gets killed. He dies. Dies an honorable death. Dies in battle. Jon Snow takes down Ramsay Snow, smashes his head in, punches him. Bang, 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 bang. Sansa comes. Then he realizes that is her prey. She has to kill him. She wants him. So he let he lets him live for five minutes. Recon's body is recovered and taken to the crypt where his dad and his sister, uh, her sister. Um, Ned's sister and family is and Sansa goes where is he where is he where have you put him they put him in the dark kennels they tied him up bloodied broken he's down there she goes to see him one last time and this is the scene I love so much she watches him die she says to him your house will die you will die your family name will die everybody you have will die is dead you are nothing no more I will forget you and she sets his own dogs on him. She goes, you haven't fed them for seven days. They will kill you, eat you. And all you can hear is the fear in his face when he sees the dogs coming out. He, first he goes, they won't eat him. But he knows, he knows. <sighs> they rip his face apart and they kill him. Sansa has their revenge. Winterfell is back to the Starks. Littlefinger is there. It's going to build up to two big parties now. The Marine crew, Daenerys and her. Gang coming to Westeros and the Winterfell and the Starks and the Aryans coming down. Maybe the Lannisters are going to pay for their crimes now. We shall see. Thank you for watching Prince Mojo YouTube. Long live the Starks. Wow, there you go. House Stark all the way. <laughs>